All right, good morning, grade three. Um, today we are going to be learning about how to spell check our work. So when we have a mouse or when we are writing on the iPads, um, we know that if a word isn't spelled correctly, it comes up underlined red. So today we're just going to go through someone's work and we are just going to talk about how to spell check it. So let's start with Logan today. Um, just he's on the top here. So we'll click on Logan's work and we'll go to his another place another time. So as I go through, I see he's got his picture, and there's my title that I'd put in there, and so, so we're going to look around, and we look through, and we see, oh, uh-oh, Logan doesn't need any spell checks. We see he can fix, but we see that he's got some comments. So we see that, I really like how the story is from the point of view of the main character. Very nice. We also see that Logan leaves one, two spaces between each period, which is very important but we need to see that all of his eyes need to be capital so there's something he can work on but unfortunately there's no spell check necessary so I'm gonna quit out of Logan's and we're gonna go down to the next one see Blake's here on the top maybe Blake's he did the same one another place another time So let's go down let's look through Blake's unfortunately Blake again does not have any spelling mistakes we see that he does need I'm gonna comment on it please make Names start with a capital. And the other piece of advice for Blake is that he needs to make sure that we comment put two spaces after a period. So there's Blake's comments, but again, he doesn't need any spelling help, so this is crazy. So let's go down. We'll go down. I know somebody else who's done. Hopefully, Cameron is here, has got some. Spelling mistakes. All right, perfect. This is great. So, we see that I've already left Cameron some comments, but we see right here, and it launched into the all-night disco party. It's underlined red. We see right here that it's red, so we need to right-click on it. So I'm going to use the right-click button, and look, it said, did you mean launched? So we can just click that, and boom, now we've got proper spelling. Now we have sword here, and I'm going to right-click on it, and it didn't get the right, ver the right word. So it's not always perfect, but we know that it's going to be for the most time. So if you right click it and it doesn't show you the word that you need to do, ask a friend and then you can ask me. Hope this is helpful. All right, bye bye.